The Brandon Peters Show may contain explicit language and detailed plot points. For more information on the show, stay tuned to the end of the episode. Brought to you by whysoblue.com. Welcome. I know there's a lot of new subscribers right now and people checking this out for the Promising Young Woman Blu-ray giveaway. And don't worry, I'm going to do that right off the bat. I'm not going to make you wait. I'm not going to make you go through it. So this is what you're looking for. The winner of the giveaway. First, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around. I know some of you are going to subscribe and run or just stop paying attention. Or what is this? Well, this is uh, 4K Blues Day. It's a segment. Uh, I'm a writer for WeisselBlue.com. Been there for uh, since about eight years. Been there. And uh, I'm a former DVD and Blu-ray quality control uh, person from the OO. So I was there at the advent of Blu-ray. Most of you coming here know this stuff already, but there's a lot of new people and I have a podcast called The Brandon Peters Show, and this is a counterpart of that. Yeah, it runs Monday through Friday. If you subscribe to this channel, you get a lot of that content. You can go on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, wherever podcasts are found. You can listen to the show. Uh, it's a Blu-ray fanatic, collector, lifelong home video enthusiast. I made this to go with my Blu-ray reviews at whysoblue.com and my podcast, so I like to talk about this stuff. It's a, sort of a another angle at it, more so than a, oh, look at me, look what I got. I know a lot of those unboxer guys, they get them, and they're just like, oh, and they throw it out. I actually have full spec reviews of the things to talk about a lot of the time, and then some people just like me to share weird stuff. I've kept you long enough. All right, Promising Young Woman, which is now nominated for a bunch of Oscars, very excited, including Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Editing. You can have your own copy, just like me, of this. And the winner is Twitter user at Ultraviolent. Yeah, funny. Name Chaos, at Ultraviolent. Congratulations, you've won. I'll be contacting you to get your address to give to the studio to send you your winnings on Blu-ray. Now... We also had another contest that was going on before that, from a week before, for Fear, Fear of Rain Digital Code. That winner is Michael. He won again. So his, his second win on this. There was not a lot of people interested in that one. Fair enough. Congrats, Michael. I'll get you your code. I've got another giveaway already. So you stayed around. Here's another giveaway. Maybe not as exciting, but I have a digital code for Avengers Endgame, now the number two highest grossing film worldwide of all time. But you can enter that and, you know, I know it's on Disney+, Plus, but you could have another avenue through Voodoo, Movies Anywhere, and own it. You know, I don't trust in those things, but hey, it's a digital code, might as well, uh, might as well do it. So let's see. Um... Hashtag Brandon Snap. There you go, because it's Snap, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, and all that. Hashtag Brandon Snap if you want to be entered in the Infin or <clears throat> Endgame Digital Code Contest. It is just an HD digital code. It is not a 4K one. Just going to put that out there, but it is an HD code. Might as well, you know, no reason not to. No reason not to. No, you know, that's what it is. All right, let's go into what I have here, which includes the new uh, Doctor Who collection set. We'll save that to last, but here's what I've got lately. I have the Mill Creek Stopper My Mom Will Shoot Blu-ray, which, sure, yeah, this movie, but when they announced it, I was like, you know what? Kudos, I'm going to buy it, because Mill Creek is like eight bucks. But kudos to Mill Creek. They're the ones who got to bestow us with this classic on blu-ray so congrats milk creek y'all y'all did it 
Here we go. So there's that one. I also have Crossfire, which review is up at whysoblue.com. Did it last week. This is a film noir movie that was nominated for Best Picture and a bunch of awards back in the day. It's got Robert Mitchum in it. And it's a really cool movie. And it's one of the first movies where the motive of killing was like a hate crime. And really interesting stuff. But this restoration is a, it's a beauty. Uh, it looks, sounds amazing. Definitely if you're a noir, it's a must. Got to pick it up. Also from Warner Archive this week, I have this Boris Karloff, Val Luton movie, Isle of the Dead. Spooky little movie. It's really cool. And the restoration on this one, again, out freaking standing. Oh my gosh, Warner Archive, just beautiful. I mean, they don't add a lot of new bonus features to the releases, but holy crap, they, just the restorations, that's well enough. And the sound on this one's really, really good. Uh, it's a nice little mono track. So this one's review is also up at whysoblue.com. These releases come out this month. I'm not sure on the specific dates on those. Uh, this is a hot item. Warner Archives doing their 4 for 44 sale right now, but I'm pretty sure these aren't included in that. All right, time to get the Doctor Who. It's like a Doctor Who week here on the show. My promo video revolved around it. I've got some Doctor Who stuff here. And then tomorrow I have a segment called old space show where rachel friend of five-ish fangirls and the oscars gold standard podcast are going through season 22 of doctor who and we land up on one of the ugh, worst episodes called time lash join us it's entertaining so i didn't do this one a couple weeks ago and i got it but i might do it now because i i kind of unboxed it on my instagram page uh it's the 50th anniversary collection steelbook of doctor who uh, they've been re-releasing um, the, the modern series in Steelbooks, and they came down to the 50th anniversary, which the 50th anniversary had a set, and that set went out of print. This is that set refurbished. They have sold Day of the Doctor and Time of the Doctor by themselves and Adventure in Space to Time, but there was a big 50th set. It comes with this little guide to what's on everything all the discs got the the day of the doctor artwork and we have the discs here as you can see it comes with <clears throat> i move my around but uh disc one is the name of the doctor which was the finale for uh series seven and then we get day of the doctor which is the 50th anniversary special behind that disc behind that disc you have matt smith's 11th doctor basically the poster image again and then we switch over here and you get <clears throat> the time of the doctor all the discs have new artwork compared to that one too you get an adventure in space and time which is the biopic of william hartnell in his career in doctor who behind this i pulled up it's david Tennant's 10th doctor now, also, so within the discs of these, hang on just a second, oops, you get, um, <clears throat> sorry, Oop, trying to get that good. All right, uh, you get <clears throat> the, the Night of the Doctor with Paul McGann, the short, that's on the day of the Doctor disc, and then you get the Five-ish Doctors reboot, which is on the Adventures in Space and Time bonus features. It's a funny short film that Peter Davison directed, starring him, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, trying to do their own 50th anniversary or get involved in it. It's pretty funny, but it has cameos by Paul McGann. It's got uh, David Tennant in there, Matt Smith, like all the, it's got some really cool stuff in there. So check it out. It's definitely a very, very who geeky thing. Now we have, oh, these are like, for me, in the Blu-ray gigging world, currently since these started, there's been no better day than when a Doctor Who collection set shows up. The current one, which came out last week, is Season 8 Doctor Who. And these UK sets, why the UK ones? Well, the packaging. That's pretty much it. And disc art. Uh, this Season 8 is the first season to feature The Master. It's John Pertwee's second season. It's also the debut 
of Joe Grant and Mike Yates. And it's the 50th anniversary of the master. But let's take a look inside here. So we'll go here first. So the discs lay in these little trays here. And then you get art here. And this opens up. I'll show in a second. But the disc we have, we have Terror of the Autons. The Mind of Evil. Claws of Axis. You have the first disc for Colony in Space. The second disc for Colony in Space features the original DVD uh, presentation because they had to do some cropping in their restoration. So they thought, hey, if you're gonna be mad about that, fine. Also on the Claws of Axis disc, there was some coloring that had to be done. There's a long story about black and whites and colors. Um, they, there's two different kind of color restorations that have been done over time. They included some of the older ones on there. Here's the Demons, disc one. It's harder to me to show and do this at the same time. The Demons, disc two. And the final disc, they got a bonus disc here. And behind the disc, it's the auction from the intro. So yeah, this features a lot of cool bonus stuff. I've pop, I'm on, I'm halfway through Colony in Space right now, but the restorations on stuff like uh, <clears throat> the um, the Mind of Evil, the colors, stuff like that, cause access. To, this looks great. Terrell Autons has even uh, they've uh, updated special effects to use uh, the CG they've added to it fits the aesthetic of the show from the 70s, and they've redone a lot of the matte work and blue screen stuff, and it's it's really good. All right, so behind here, let's see with the Doctor and Joe. If you open this up. Oh, look what we got. There they are. And there's a booklet in here. And there's the TARDIS interior. And these booklets don't come with the US editions either. So here we are, the back of it, turn the master. But you go here, you get plenty of fun stuff, essays. There has been an error reported with some books. Um, they've been uh, have some page problems, but you get production photos, little history, everything. Uh, you get beautiful Lee Binding art. Lee Binding does all the artwork for these sets, and it's just tremendous. Guy is a, a who genius when it comes to the artwork. And then, of course, you can't forget the VAM people. Uh, Chris Chapman does a great job. Matthew Sweet's interviews are awesome. Toby Haydock's fun. I mean, just everybody. Mark Ayers, his 5.1 surround sound mixes are, oh, incredible. Like, it's really amazing what he's able to do with these old old tracks. Um, there's a feature I like on these called Behind the Sofa, where people, surviving cast, cast crew, people watch the show, and you watch as they watch, and they get people from different eras, and this one has Sasha Dewan, the current master on the show, watching the first season of The Old Master, and it's kind of kind of interesting there. Um, but yeah, so that, love these sets. The next one is season 24. Not one of my favorites, but I'm always excited to check these out. The Trial of the Time Lord box set's one of my favorites, and that was a lower expectation one um, to get, and they did the, like the best job with that one. That's a high recommend. So these Doctor Who sets, oh, can't wait, can't wait. All right, well, that'll do it for today. Congrats to the winners, um, the winner of The Promising Young Woman, Fear of Rain, and good luck to you if you're going to enter the end game contest. Just do it for fun. Just do it to say you won. Just like, yeah, I got it. I mean, I have a couple multiple winners out there now. Someone's got to pull in the lead of those. Don't make it boring, but appreciate it. Um, if you're a distributor and you'd like to see your stuff featured on here, feel free to contact me, naptownnerd at gmail.com or mail at thebrandonpetersshow.com. You can find me on social media at Brandon4KUHD. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the attention from the promising young woman. I hope you stay. I hope you stay subscribed. I hope you stay followed. Interact with me. I like to talk this stuff up. The comment crowd, you guys rule on here on YouTube. You keep me going on this. Like, I'm like, oh, and then you guys start chatting and I love it. So thank you. Thank you. I'll be back. Hopefully next week have some stuff or I'll make up. You guys didn't like the hammer one. Like nobody watched that one and I thought it was fun. So 
Uh, give me an idea of things you'd like to see me put together in case a rainy day happens and I'm just low on the review copies. I do. I should have some things next week, but in case. So give me ideas for the future. What kind of things you'd like to see me talk about here regarding my collection, uh, my reviews, anything. You Hit me up. Let me know. I'd be happy. Cue it. I'll answer some questions here maybe on a week. Or do you have this? Show me this. Fair enough. Whatever's clever. Leave them in the comments. We'll do it one day. All right. Thank you. Uh, the Brandon Peters Show returns tomorrow with Old Space Show. It's now on YouTube, so you can listen to it here or anywhere podcasts are found. And yeah, so stick around. Uh, thank you. And uh, always remember to keep the positivity in your online film chatter. Thank you for listening. The Brandon Peters Show is a Creative Zombie Studios production. Produced by Brad Shoemaker and Brandon Peters. Written and edited by Brandon Peters. Announcer vocals by Jessica Olsman. Theme song by Metavari. Web design and show art by Brad Shoemaker with Brandon Peters. All music and clips featured in the episode are property of their respective studios and no infringement is intended. Additional information on this and other episodes at brandonpetershow.com. For any inquiries, press opportunities, or sponsorship, contact mail at brandonpetershow.com. The show is available on Apple Music, Spotify, or anywhere podcasts are found.